This is Bettina Siobhan reporting from the Paris Air Show for Aviation Week. And I'm standing here with two of the workhorse airlifters of the United States, the C-17 Globemaster and the C-130J. U.S. lawmakers recently moved to add $2.2 billion for eight additional C-17 Globemasters, which would extend production of the aircraft well into 2011 if Congress approves the bill. With Boeing's latest order and international interest at an all-time high, this enormous airlifter isn't likely to disappear from the landscape very soon. For the size of the C-17, it's an amazingly um, agile aircraft, uh, mostly because of the fly-by-wire um, flight control system. Basically, the, uh, the flight control takes into account uh, not only the, the position of the stick when you move it, but it also has force sensors, so it takes into account how much force you use when you control the flight controls. So um, the immediate response with the flight controls is um, just amazing. And I, when I talk about flying it, I compare it to um, flying like a smaller jet trainer aircraft. You would never know that you have like uh, 400 or 500,000 pounds of aircraft behind you because it's so responsive. announced that they are interested in leasing or buying Lockheed Martin C-130Js to meet urgent requirements in case the EADS A400M continues with delays or is canceled outright. The J in Iraq performs really well. Uh, we've actually spent a lot of time both in Iraq and in uh, Afghanistan. The performance is probably 30% better than the other C-130s flying in theater. We can uh, fly higher in a higher and a hotter weather and uh, get to places with more cargo than would otherwise be attainable. The cockpit is significantly upgraded than the old models. Uh, as you can see, possibly behind me, we have the heads-up display, and that gives the pilot much more situational awareness. When you're going into unfamiliar territory where it might be hard to distinguish the airfield from the surrounding desert terrain, uh, we have methods that are able to highlight that in the pilot's heads-up display so that there's no confusion. This is Bettina Siobhan for Aviation Week at the Paris Air Show.